in the morning when I dig it when I first got up and uh, the, the first uh, uh, segment so that pushes us that pushes us forward to this segment here which is was supposed to be the second segment but now is the first was well, supposed to be the second segment and is now the first segment so well so it's now just about 10 o'clock let me give it time and date stamp it is 10 hours and four minutes into the day of Friday October 14th. Uh, I'm leaving today. I'm going back to Toronto, and uh, uh, just uh, about, a less, uh, about an hour I'll be leaving. The scheduled departure. I'm just gonna up this here. I've got a nice little office here. Uh, I had dinner dinner with people last night, and it was, it was my parents. <laughs> They're up here too, and usually there's a little village up here, and so. On the weekends, it's pretty. Uh, it's 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 pretty good. It's it, there's enough people up here, and then uh, during the weekday, it sort of peters off, and uh, uh, I just it's basically myself and the work that I have to do, and it's actually pretty good. The uh, I didn't end up using a lot of the the, the computer a lot in terms of in, in terms of the amount of data that I use the computer and my tablets. Yeah. Uh, and I'm getting the uh, Mars, uh, the uh, ore project started up here. So we're uh, bringing, expanding it to here. Uh, I've got enough of it done so that uh, when I get back to Toronto, I can sort of uh, fix everything up, uh, get the notes organized, and then expand, uh, bring some of the files that I need on the, that are on the on the on the uh, main network back in Toronto. I'll have to put some of the files on here, and that way when I come up uh, next weekend. Uh, I'll be able to bring uh, everything up, and uh, the project will continue up here, just as it is in Toronto. And so, that's, you know, this is—I think this is something that's to look forward to. Something that's good, you know, in terms of the overall progress with the research. Uh, the next goals that I have to sit down and work on. I'm start working. I've already started working on doing some of the layout for uh, the coming upgrades for uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Start bringing it forward more. Start working on the channel. I'll start, I'll start working on the network on a regular basis so that's these are things are all that ha that all have to be done they have to work, be worked on um uh fixed up a little bit more so i have to work on some of the, the different shows i said i can't edit and upload here because just none there's the uh, the data stream isn't enough uh so i can't do that on a regular basis so uh i said but i can film up here i can do uh i've got a system i have that i didn't bring out today i brought to, I have a small network here that I bring up with me. It's a small network. And one of the simple systems that I didn't bring, I just brought it out briefly. And then put it up. Excuse me. I just brought it out briefly and then put it away. Uh, it was a uh, small 10 inch system, a uh, 10 inch uh, netbook. And it's got Linux on there as well. Everything's free as Linux now. Uh, and that's going to be uh, the system I do a lot of the Linux development on. So I'm now moving forward into uh, into uh, further into Linux development. Uh, the goal will be to uh, eventually uh, develop my own Linux, sort of basically uh, sort of understand how to. Uh, the next step is to sort of understand how to. So, like uh, Firefox, right? Rather than having a specialized version for for Ubuntu, it, it, see what it's like to have the compile the program right from uh, Firefox. In other words, you have instead of having the Ubuntu build build of Firefox, you have the uh, Mozilla build 
of Firefox. I put that into your system and sort of see how that works out. I got that done on one system as a test. Now it's, I need to sort of move it across and sort of uh, develop a, a, a methodology to do this. Uh, and this is the way I do things is that, and this is sort of wasn't wasn't available. They had on the internet uh, the uh, steps to replace the uh, Ubuntu build uh, 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 Firefox, but I don't want to replace it initially. What you want to do is you want to have it installed parallel and work on the off the same same stuff off the same profile. They didn't have that, but they had how to do the install. So as I began look, looking around and sort of uh, testing out different uh, 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 scripts, I found a way to modify the script. So that rather than having a, um, uh, a, uh, a a replacement for Mozilla, in other words, rather than placing the Ubuntu Firefox with Mozilla, the Mozilla build, uh, I have the uh, Ubuntu and the uh, uh, Mozilla builds running side by side off the same profile. And for me, that's a success. And so that this, well, I'm working, I have that system, the small system, sort of test these things out, then roll it across the network if if it, if it does work out. Uh, so the same, that would be the same thing would done would be done with FFmpeg. Uh, but the same thing would be done with uh, a number of other programs. I'm going to start doing as much as I can with other programs, and sort of spreading this out and sort of uh, getting uh, other programs installed, particularly when. Let's say, uh, you know, on uh, the 15 series of Ubuntu, like uh, 15.4, 15.10, uh, they're no longer supporting it. So in many cases, you're left out in the cold without any support for these things, even though they were supposed to support everything. I mean, uh, Mozilla, Mozilla 04 was supposed to, uh, I mean, uh, Ubuntu uh, uh, 15.04 was supposed to be supported. It's supposed to be LTS, but it's such a disaster. that. And this is the thing. Instead of moving the LTS to uh, fifteen ten, they said now just now drop fifteen ten. Well, we're now on sixteen four. We're not going to deal with the fifteen series at all. So anyone who's moved on to uh, who moved on to fifteen and had a horrible problem with it, you either have to roll back or go to sixteen ten sixteen oh four. And sixteen oh four has particularly if you have uh, an AMD system with either N N N N NVIDIA or, or, A or ATI, you're going to have the same graphic problems that you had when you first rolled into 1504. It's the same problems again and again. And they haven't resolved these particular issues. And the thing is, so why move to one new system or a new upgrade when the problems on the, of the old system haven't been resolved and they're continuing forward to the next, uh, uh, to the next up upgrade? And this is this is what, what really just seems to me that this seems to be you know a fault of canonical to not sit down and repair these particular problems before I say okay we're not going to support this anymore resolve the problems you know if 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 from upgrade to upgrade you have the same breaking problems that the upgrade breaks then you have a significant issue that you have to sit down and repair before you say we're not going to support the systems anymore we will support that particular version. But they're not doing that, and so that leaves uh, room for someone like myself to come along and say, okay, well, let's try and design a, a solution, because uh, if you realize what Linux is, Linux is a community-built system. And so if you're part of the community, part of the Linux community, community this is your opportunity to step in and start uh, contributing to the community in a more significant way rather than sort of you know doing manuals or doing uh, QA, like quality control. Uh, or quality assurance in the QA, in the uh, Ubuntu community or, or in the Linux community. So this is sort of my chance to sort of step forward. That's why I have the uh, that net, the netbook that, that that comes around with me is to help me step f further into that. Uh, but I didn't bring it up now because this was actually this week was simply to test the network the uh, the the four G network that was con connected to a four G line uh, from Rogers and it seemed to be pretty good. Uh, I, there are a few issues, but uh, other than that, uh, uh, the actual function and performance was pretty good. So I can't complain. It's functional. It, you know, it gets the work done. You know, that's, that's the main thing is, is, can you work from this remote environment? And the answer is, yes, I can work from this remote environment with the Rogers uh, 4G. Uh, Price-wise, I think it's the best because it, you, we always have to be concerned with overages, particularly with, with, with the majors. Uh, nobody else has a better price point. 
Uh, everybody else is more or less along the lines of uh, they're all along the lines of oh, me. Well, about five hundred dollars, uh, five dollars per hundred megabytes. You know, so every hundred megabytes you use in data, they charge you five bucks. Uh, Rogers is charging uh, five dollars for every gigabyte. So, uh, it's it's not desi it's not exactly desirable, but it's manageable. That's the thing is that if you have a situation that. Uh, it's not necessarily ideal. The question is, it doesn't always have to be ideal, but can you manage this? Is, is this a situation that's manageable? So you look around the packages, you see what you, what's, what's being offered, and the uh, Rogers one had the best pack, best package that was manageable. It's not the, the price point. It's a manageable, manageable price point. So, uh, so yeah. So I got bills paid. <laughs> it was fully functional because I got I got bills paid. Uh, I actually ordered the uh, the uh, next propane tank online. I found out that the RV needs three propane tanks. And the way it is is that because both propane tanks have to be hooked up at the exact same time, uh, there's no way to pull one off and uh, uh, get it serviced. In other words, uh, put more propane in it, come back and, 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 and put it in. It's about an hour to two hours to do that. So the best thing to do is buy a third propane tank, fill the third propane tank up, and then swap in, swap out with, with the empty tanks. Uh, so it's, it's an immediate, you know, it's, it's, it's a, a less than a five minute procedure to swap the tanks out. So you, you put the new tank that's now filled into the empty, into the tank, into the position. No, let me go back up. You pull the, the tank off that's empty, and you immediately you pull put the new full tank back in, right? In that, in that, in that, in that spot. So your 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 disconnect is less than five minutes. You can make sure all the valves are shut off, so there's no back leak of, of propane, uh, and it, it gives you a way of uh, of having very little propane left. Where I, I only had you know in the initial view of the RV, I said, oh, you only need one propane tank. Uh, you can leave the other one disconnected. Well didn't work. I ended up with a, a significant propane leak. I lost a lot of propane. So uh, I now know that you do have to, uh, no matter what anyone says, you actually have to have both tanks uh, attached to the RV, uh, even if one tank is empty. Uh, and that's why I got the third tank. Uh, I'll be picking it up uh, sometime uh, next week uh, when it's ready. To, uh, I have it shipped to the store. Uh, they'll send me an email when it's there so I can go pick it up and uh, uh, then next week bring it up here and that way I'll have a third tank uh, 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 for propane and what I'll be doing because one tank is already empty I gotta change the first tank that I started off with a week I gotta change that up with a new tank uh, uh, and so I'll have a full load of propane again so anyways I think I'm gonna leave this here for now this is a, a good beginning for today we we'll make up for the two segments that, for the first segment that I've uh, missed so this is two segments combined yeah, we're about 12 well 12 13 minutes in so uh, I will probably see you uh, in Toronto that will be the next segment will be in Toronto and yeah so take it easy well hello everybody welcome back to the next segment of the BTS vlog a big bang here all's BTS vlog obviously Change in background means I'm actually uh, back in my place in Toronto, and uh, uh, time for uh, the next uh, segment of today's vlog. Don't, don't forget we're doing daily vlog again, so <laughs> you know it's. Ooh, I will probably try to say good night to Peg. Ugh, I'll probably try to say good night depending on what time I end up going to bed. Uh, it is currently 16 hours and 45 minutes. Into the day of Friday, October 14th, 2016. Yeah. I got back uh, just about uh, 2 o'clock, 2.30, just about uh, two hours ago. Uh, I said, wow, well, why didn't I vlog right when I get back? Well, because I ended up going food shopping. And uh, so that's what's, uh, what took me so long as I didn't actually uh, just come back and, and that was it. Uh, I've somewhat unpacked, somewhat getting my systems, uh, doing uh, the network check to make sure that everything's okay, everything seems to be alright so far, I'd have to do a better check and 
uh, start going over some of the things that uh, I did up uh, up in my Mars Alpha place. The, the new place is going to be called Mars Alpha. That's uh, a research product, product that I'm working on, so I'll, I'll sort of expand from that base on out. Uh, but I will be, I will be uh, vlogging and blogging more about that, so... Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> it's, it's not necessarily the end of the thing that we're doing now, so... And this is the sort of thing, is I've got to start keeping track of what I filmed, what I haven't filmed. Uh... This morning I filmed like 12 minutes, I ended up filming about 12 minutes worth of material, so that was good. So now the question is, like, can I do another 10 minutes uh, here and there, or, or a little bit more? Well, it depends on how much I have now to, now to say. There's really not really much to say. i got to catch up on, uh, catch up on my YouTube, basically, my Pate, the Patele, uh, Clintus TV, our, our, our Family Nest. Uh, I've always got the tablets back working again. I bought some new stuff for uh, Mars Alpha up north. Uh, some sort of just basic amenities, amenities sort of like a, for uh, personal grooming and stuff like that that I'm going to keep up there. Uh, I have to get a new suitcase because I don't need the large suitcase that I have uh, anymore. I don't need to go up there because I'm not packing and bringing the stuff back. I'm just packing lately. Because I'm, I, I'm going to be bringing uh, clothes up to keep up there. So I don't need to have a large suitcase in order to do that. So uh, I'll be packing lightly from now on uh, in terms of uh, my personal clothing, personal, personal belongings. belongings. So I, I've got a hairbrush up there. I've got toothpaste up there. I have uh, a fluoride mouth rinse up there. Um, Toilet paper, uh, milk, uh, the refrigerator is working, the heat is working fine now. Uh, so as I said, everything is slowly but surely falling into place. And so now that I'm back, it's now time to get things uh, back into sequence again, into into into, you know, into its sequence, into its pace, back to uh, I'll call it normal pace. And that's the thing is the, the, the go, every time I go back and forth with toilet paper, uh, what type of downtime do I have in terms of from one product to the next project. Ugh. And making sure that the schedule keeps on track and that's kind of the issue here. So I still have to unload the uh, video the video clips from the trip up to Mars Alpha and so I have to do that still. But uh, I'm gonna do that slowly throughout the day. I don't really take many vacations. I'm, I'm you know, in terms of time off. Uh, my time off is basically when I'm sleeping. So that's, that's the way it is. If I want extra time off, I stay in bed longer. That's <laughs> that's my that's my vacation time. So, uh, but that's that's kind of you know for me that's the way things go. And I'm happy with it like this. So, uh, I'm gonna leave this here for now. I'm gonna leave it uh, rather short. Let me see what time time we've got here. Uh, yeah, it's just about four or five minutes. So, uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the next segment because uh, if this is about four or five minutes, I'll do another four or five minutes. Uh, that would give me 10 minutes, and with 12 minutes, yeah, so we've got enough time. We've got enough, uh, to, to, I can do another five, five to seven minutes uh, before I go to bed or, or near the end of the day. We'll see when it's happening, because uh, I do have another long day tomorrow, because I've got a baptism to go to. Uh, one of my friends uh, has had a daughter, and she, he's getting the bat, then she's getting baptized, so... Oh, more fun and more food. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next segment. Speech, rules, 
here at Democratic Earth.